now start to shift our attention to the offensive side of the ball for Brigham Young University and do so with Brady Christensen. Yesterday, Jeremy, you and I were talking about the offensive line and the experience and depth that comes back and protecting Zach Wilson. So, Brady, that is, uh, I guess, our first question is, how do you keep Zach healthy and safe uh, with your brethren there on the offensive line? I think we just got to give him all day, um, always be fighting. Even if it feels like you've been blocking forever, just keep grinding because you never know with that guy. That guy has some can run around and make plays, so you just got to keep going no matter what. Uh, Pro Football Focus ranked you the number two sophomore tackle in the country. What did that mean to you? That's that's pretty random but awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, I don't take much stock into it. Um, obviously, I want to be first, so it's motivating to me to work harder this offseason and get better because I do have a lot of things I can improve on. So, What are some of those things in your opinion? Definitely technique. Uh, last year, I was very... Uh, I was raw in my technique, and so I can work a lot on that. And then also getting a lot stronger and tougher and just better in all phases of it. You've switched offensive line coaches going from Ryan Pugh to Eric Mateos. Uh, how has that impacted you individually and the offensive line moving forward? It's been great because uh, Coach Pugh, he was a technician, so we learned a ton from him. And then Mateos just has this excitement about the game that is so contagious, you know. And so it gets us all excited to get into fall camp in that first day, you know, and just get going and hit people hard. And and you take both, you take a lot from both uh, coaches. You had uh, you had a play where the ball was thrown to you behind the line of scrimmage against Northern Illinois. Yep. And uh, I th I think you. Your guys need to block for you better on that play. What, what do you think of that play? Right, right. Not to call out <laughs> anyone, but James MP. No, <laughs> no, it was originally designed for to, to be run against Hawaii. It was called Rain, Rainbow Warrior. and ah. But we kept it in the game plan for the next week, and uh, they called it down the goal line. And I was like, let's go. I was kind of nervous, but I was excited, you know. Listen, you made you made a guy miss. Right, right. Okay, you, so Zach gives you the ball. This is a rush. We got, look at the whoop. Right, right. You get around. Yes. James MP misses the block. <laughs> you are absolutely correct. Wow. People were giving me grief. They were like, how did you not make one guy miss? And I was like, I, I did. I did. I, I made, made a guy, guy miss. miss. Hey, one is more than you should make miss. Let's be honest. Right, look at right? that. Look at that. Wow. That was that was skilled. Do you want another, well, tackle eligible play this oh, year? You know, you always want one, but they said uh, not for a while. After that? <laughs> After that. <laughs> They're like, everyone knows about it, and uh, we didn't score, so maybe a couple years. So. The, the greatest tackle eligible play in BYU history was the 01 Liberty Bowl. Right, Dustin right. Reichert scored a touchdown. Yep, yep. You're familiar with the play? Uh, I haven't seen it, but You've I've heard, heard about a lot it? about it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, well, when you get that chance, I'm sure that they all go back and start bringing up his name. At this point, do you consider yourself a skill position player? Oh, you know, uh, we always have, like, uh, IQ plays in practice where you kind of switch positions, and I had a receiver, and I ran just like a, I don't even know what it's called, but it's that way you go straight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a fade, a fade. There we go. Yeah. Okay. And I caught it for a touchdown, and I celebrated, you know, and I was like, I think go. I was at that practice. Were you? Yeah. yeah it was Spring ball, right? I mean, every time you get a ball as an offensive lineman, you take advantage of it. Oh, that's awesome. Tell, tell us about this O-line, because uh, everybody but Austin Hoyt is back. Bunch of guys who have started. You started all 13 games. James Empey, who missed a block, started all 13 <laughs> games. Tristan Hodge, uh, you know, I'm going to miss somebody. Shove, Sally Apaga, uh, Longson. This is going to be a pretty good offensive line. How do you feel oh, about it? Oh, we love – we're so excited. I mean, we do – usually when guys get extra work in, it's usually like one or two guys here and there, you know. But as this unit, we've all gotten extra work in together every day. We're always in the weight room together. We're always getting uh, technique work outside and always just getting better together. Uh, we're really a tight group. And I think as an offensive line group, you need to be tight, you know. You got to know exactly what the left tackle is doing, the center is doing, the right tackle, and everything in between, you know. Did you feel pressure as a freshman starter at left tackle? I mean, the blind side's all about how the left tackle is arguably the most important position on the line, right? Oh, yeah. The but you came in right away. The first game against Arizona, I was shaking a little bit, and I was, I was nervous. But once you get out there on the field and you hit someone right in, under the jaw, it's just football from then on. So I, once you're on the field, it's fine. Brady Christensen with us on BYU Sports Nation, sophomore offensive lineman. Who's the leader of the offensive line right now? Uh, as far as who takes over in like the film studies without coach, James Empey does a great job. So he misses blocks but doesn't miss film. Is that yeah. what you're saying? He, he learns from his that mistakes. Was, that was probably the only block he missed all season. <laughs> I will say that. But, yeah, he's, uh, his knowledge of the game 
is unbelievable, and we all learn from him, and we all chip in here and there, but he definitely uh, takes over in the film studies. We love James. Great yeah, stuff. Yeah, James is great. He's one of my best Brady, friends. Brady, sign our flag if you don't mind as we go to break. Great to talk to you, man. Thank you. Great talking okay, to you. Thanks. Guys.